five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this is the first episode of my how-to series. We are building a reusable homemade model rocket. Now there are several things that set these rockets apart from your typical model rocket. The first being that you're not buying it at a store. Even better, you will have the pride of designing and building your own model rocket. Second is that you won't have to waste money on any sort of wadding or cotton balls or toilet paper to protect your parachutes from the exhaust of the burnout engine. Therefore, you can simply launch your rocket, pick it up when it's finished, reload it, put in a new engine, and launch it again until you're tired of it or it crashes because you made a mistake. But before you have the opportunity to crash your rocket, first you need to build it. And to do that, you need the supplies. And that's what we're going to go over in this first episode. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a body tube. This is the main component of your rocket. I highly recommend you get one about the size of a paper towel tube like this one. It can be a little bit bigger like this one, but your rocket won't go as high. This is the one I'm actually going to be using. It's a little bit thicker. You also need one toilet paper tube. I actually recommend two, but these are the bare minimum essentials that you need for your rocket. You'll need a paper clip. You'll need two flathead pens. Normally I use these smaller nails, but make sure they're flatheads. You also need a pencil, a pen, and a sharpie marker some scissors, some needle nose pliers, a hot glue gun would be nice, but you definitely need super glue. Of course, you're gonna need your rocket engine from the get-go. This one is a C65. You'll need a ruler, some sturdy cardboard, some fabric. I recommend either nylon or polyester. You'll need a drinking straw, a flat piece of balsa wood, some sandpaper, some kite string. This is actually elastic string. You also need some elastic cord. You'll need a small sewing kit, a block of balsa wood, not a block of regular wood or oak wood or anything hard like that. You need balsa wood, something that's easy to sand down. Trust me, if you get the wrong kind of wood, your arms are going to be sorry. And lastly, you'll need some spray paint and maybe some you know, finger paint or whatever kind of paint you want to work with to color your rocket all beautiful. Okay, I also listed out the supplies right here you need, so if you want to write it down, you can, or take screenshots or whatever. So again, this is the minimum stuff that you need. I'll be using a few additional things along the way, but, you know, this is your journey. Do as you like. Um, I'm guiding you through it, but just have a good time. That's what, that's what we're here for. As I said at the beginning of the clip, these rockets are different than other homemade rockets in that I design the interior of these. They don't uh, deploy their recovery system like normal rockets do. Um, we're not going to pollute. We're not going to waste our money on wadding. We're going to use a combustion piston type deployment system. Um, and I'm going to modify it uh, along the way and kind of help you decide how you want to modify yours. All right, so go get those supplies and then meet me back here for episode two.